I love coding my own AI agents. It gives me so much control to make whatever I want. But here's the thing. Coding an AI agent takes a ton of time and a lot of debugging. And if you think to truly create a powerful AI agent, you have to code it yourself. Well, I have got some news for you. Today, we're gonna talk about N8N and how you can use it to create super powerful AI agent workflows with absolutely no code. N8N is a really powerful workflow automation tool similar to Make.com or Zapier, but it stands above the competition by far because of two big reasons. First big reason why N8N is absolutely the best is you can self-host it. And what that means is you pay a grand total of $0 to run your workflow executions with N8N, no matter how many you have per month. At one point, I was paying $174 a month for Zapier, and my business still had a lot of room to grow. So this can save you thousands and thousands of dollars. Literally, the only thing you have to pay for with N8N is the machine that you have in the cloud to host your own instance. And that can be as cheap as $6 a month if you use a service like DigitalOcean, which is what I used. The second reason why N8N is absolutely the best is it has direct integration with Langchain, which is my favorite library for building AI applications that I cover a lot on this channel. So within N8N, as a part of your workflow execution, you can have your own custom Langchain chain where you can choose any large language model you want. There's a ton of options for working with chat memory. Uh, there are so many options that you have for different tools that you can use and you can create your own tools. And there's also things like structured output. So you have all the robustness you would usually have in an AI agent that you code yourself. But this way, there is no code and you can have it as a part of an N8N workflow. So here's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to take the AI agent to manage my Asana tasks that I've been building as a part of my AI agents masterclass series. And I'm going to show you how to recreate a basic version of it on N8N with no code in just a few minutes. So you'll be able to create a powerful AI agent with no code in N8N by the end of this video. All right, so before we dive into creating our Asana AI agent in NAN, I want to talk about self-hosting because this is what makes NAN so powerful and freaking affordable no matter how much you are scaling. It is my favorite feature of NAN, maybe besides the lane chain stuff. And so they have really, really great documentation on how you can self-host. This is the page specifically for self-hosting with DigitalOcean, which is my favorite service for cloud compute. Uh, I am not sponsored by DigitalOcean or NNN or Langchain or any of these guys. It'd be awesome if I was, but these are just the services that I love to use that I've been using for years and years and years. I've used DigitalOcean for a ton of other things and it has always worked well for me. So I'd recommend going through this documentation and signing up for DigitalOcean and hosting there. $6 a month is all it takes on DigitalOcean to get cloud compute that is powerful enough to run N8N. So with that out of the way, we can go ahead and actually dive into the N8N platform. So here we are in the N8N UI, which is directly hosted within my DigitalOcean droplet. And N8N, you can see right away, is so, so simple. And that is a beautiful thing because we don't want a ton of stuff bloating our software. So all we have here is workflows and credentials. And so I'm going to start by going into one of the basic workflows that I've already created just to describe a little bit how N8N works. And this will actually be the workflow that we have to create tasks in Asana. And so if you've used make.com or Zapier or something like this before, this will look really familiar to you because every node that we have in a workflow, which is basically just a graph of actions combined together, is either going to be a trigger or an action. And so right here we have a workflow trigger. So this is the entry point to our workflow. And then every other node within this, which is just one in this case, is an action. And that's what's going to actually do something, like go out to Asana and make a task, which is like what this does right here or go out to Google Drive or Salesforce or our Supabase database, whatever it might be. And so with this workflow, it's just a very basic workflow where we are creating a task in Asana. And so we have a name and a due date that's passed into this workflow. And so we have dynamic data here to create a task given a name and a due date. And then I just put everything in my coding project in Asana for now. We'll see that in a little bit, how that works. It'll be very similar to the Asana AI agent that is in uh, the other videos in my AI masterclass series. And so that is this workflow in essence for every single action you have the parameters and then there's settings as well and they also have documentation so for every action you have in n8n there's documentation to make it really really clear as you set things up and it also helps a lot with your credentials as well so like when you create a credentials for asana you need an access token but sure enough they have documentation even to help you get credentials for specific applications you can connect to to n8n so they make everything so so easy not just for self-hosting but also everything within the platform itself and getting your workflow set up so it is just absolutely beautiful 
And so what you're going to also want to do is actually copy the workflow ID that you have in the URL right here. So at the end of your URL within this page, you're going to have the workflow ID and you're going to want to copy that for the next step here, because this is where we go into the workflow that actually has our AI agent. And this is where things get really, really fun. So the entry point for this workflow is this chat input right here. And so if I actually play this here, I'll go to the chat. You can see here that you can type a message within a chat window, kind of like what we have in the Streamlit UI that I use very often on my channel here. And so I could say something like, hi, how are you? And we'll actually get a response from the AI right within the N8N workflow so we can test things out really, really quickly with our agents, which is super, super cool. And then what we're also going to do is compute the date and time. And the reason for that is we want to tell our Asana assistant what day it is so that it can accurately determine due dates when we give relative dates like this Saturday or next Friday. And so we get the current date and then it'll output that as an item that we can use in other actions going forward in the workflow. And so I'll go back to my canvas here and we can go into our AI agent. And this is where we really hook up a lot of really cool things to make this a full blown AI agent. You can see right here that we have an open AI model that we have hooked in. I got my API key put in the credentials here. We've got a window buffer memory, which is just a basic type of memory. And there are a lot of different types of memory uh, that you can have here. Like we can use Redis, for example. Also for the large language models, you can use like literally everything that I care to use. Anthropic, Grok, Olama, OpenAI, everything that I've used in my masterclass videos before, we have that here as well. And then the other part that's really cool is we can define an infinite number of tools to attach to our AI agent, just like we did with Langchain in our Python code. And so if I wanted to create more tools, I would just have to drag out um, to these other tool nodes that I would create. Right now I just have one, which is going to reference that workflow that I showed earlier to create tasks in Asana. And so that's where we need that workflow ID that we have copied here. But you can see that you give a description to tell the AI agent how to use this tool. And then you can even have structured input. So we can tell it that you are going to be giving the tool, i.e. this NAN workflow, a name and a due date. And that corresponds to exactly what I showed before, those dynamic parameters that go into creating the Asana task. So you can control things really, really well and tell the agent how to use the tool just like you would with custom code. So it is just a beautiful thing. And then within the agent itself, we have the text, which we're going to reference the text that is sent in from the trigger to this workflow, which is when a chat message is received. And so all you have to do in N8N to reference something from a previous node is you have to execute it first, and then you'll have it available in the input dropdowns here. So I can just drag the chat input right here, and it's going to add it in. So I already had it there, so that's why we see it twice now. But that's how easy it is to bring in something dynamic from another node that already executed in the workflow. And so it's going to be the same thing with the current date. We're going to input that into the system message here, where we also tell it you're a helpful assistant who helps create tasks in Asana, similar to what we did when we wrote this all in our Python code. So it's just amazing stuff. And there's other settings as well that you typically don't have to play with, but there's just so much control that N8N gives you. Like this, this is just amazing to me. Um, and then the last thing that we're going to do is just respond to a webhook. And so this is kind of just the end of the workflow where we spit out an output element that we could then use with an API. So that I've also set this up with Streamlit so I can literally just call this entire N8N workflow as an API and get the response back to display to UI. But you don't even have to do that because N8N makes it really easy to define custom user interfaces around your chatbots as well. And I'll show that in a second here. But I just wanted to also test out having this as an API endpoint instead of making it all within an N8N chatbot. And so what I wanted to show here as a last thing is how we can take this chatbot and actually create a UI around it really, really easily with N8N. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this chat button here in the bottom middle. And then it says add chat to external application using NAN chat package. And so you click on more info and it will literally give you an embed that you can put on your site. And you can also use React or Vue embeds as well if you want to install NAN chat with NPM. I'm just going to do this for now because it is so easy to set this up. So the one thing I wanted to do before I show this is you have to go into your chat component and make sure that you have the chat publicly available. And so I'm not going to have this publicly available once I actually publish this video, because that means you could go to this URL and just start using my chatbot and spending my OpenAI credits. 
Um, but you have to make this public first. You can also add authentication if you want to protect it. And then you can take that embed and put it in your own website. Or in this case, I'm just going to use an online HTML editor. So I dumped in exactly what it gave me as the embed in N8N. And then you run it. And sure enough, I've got this nice little button in the bottom right that you see in a lot of websites where I can click this to open my chatbot. And here I can go ahead and ask it something like, what can you do for me? And the responses from the N8N agents are actually really, really fast, like you can see right here. So, yep, calls out that it can help me in Asana. And so I can say something like, cool, I need to uh, bake cookies by Friday. So we'll see if it'll make a task for me in Asana. So give it a couple of seconds to perform the actual action with the NAN workflow. And there we go. I've created the task to bake cookies by Friday. You can view it here. So it gave me the link. Otherwise, I can also just go into Asana directly. And sure enough, I've got a task to bake cookies by Friday. This was not there before. I just had this single task from a prior test. So everything is working beautifully with this chat bot that I can have as an API endpoint, or I can have as a chat widget that I showed just now. You can turn it into anything you want, and this is all with absolutely no code. So there you go. In just a couple of minutes, we built a powerful Asana AI agent chatbot in NAN with no code. I am a big proponent of using no code solutions to build your simpler AI agents so you can truly dedicate the time you need to the more cutting edge and complex AI agents that you have to code from scratch just because of the complexity of what you are building. And so I hope that you can use N8N as a new tool in your tool belt to build your AI agents much more efficiently and with less hassle. If you found this useful and you plan on using NAN at all, I would much appreciate a like and a subscribe. And with that, I will see you in the next video.